Right, you guys, got another quick video here for you. A major bug allows unsupported devices to be upgraded to Windows 11 22H2. Microsoft have announced that there is a bug that is allowing unsupported hardware to be upgraded to Windows 11. And if you see here on this article on uh, farot.com, you'll be able to see all about it. I'll leave some information and links in the video description. But before we do that, let's have a word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then go to CD Key Sales, type in uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11, and it will give you the option to click on uh, which one you want. Click on this one, and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page. Hit the Buy Now button, and as long as your region is listed up above, you should be okay. Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then use PayPal to pay for your key. Then head over to Windows Activation Center and paste in your key and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Links will be found in the video description. So what does this mean for you if you're running a PC on unsupported hardware and you have been offered to download and install Windows 11 version 20H2? Well, let's take a look at the Windows 11 supported Intel processors list. And as you'll see here, nothing has changed. So if you do have an outdated uh, piece of hardware that doesn't support Windows 11, then you are going to end up updating uh, to Windows 11 uh, 22H2, and it's going to be unsupported. Eventually, what will happen is you will have to go back to Windows 10. This is a major uh, hiccup on Microsoft's part because I've checked their lists and there is no new additions added to this. And this means that obviously it's either a mistake or it's a bug on Microsoft's part. And if you head over to Twitter, you'll see uh, Barbara Bowman she has literally says her unqualified seventh gen Windows 10 machine released the preview channel is being offered Windows 11. And she put all the information up there on her Twitter account. And basically, it's now been announced that there is a bug. As you can see here, if you look at the Windows Insider area here, it does say that it's a known bug from Microsoft on their operating system. And it's allowed people to upgrade to the Windows 11 uh, 22 h2 as you can see down here it's a bug and the right team is investigating it thanks for notifying that's uh, all you get is thanks for notifying not the fact that probably millions of people have started to upgrade to windows 11 thinking that microsoft have reversed their decision on unsupported hardware or maybe added their cpu to the supported list oh thanks for notifying us i mean basically What's going on? I mean, you can't have people upgrading to Windows 11 and then basically just saying, oh, thanks for notifying us. Oh, yeah, you'll have to roll back. You can't stay on Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And if we check up back on uh, ferrots.com here, you'll see down the bottom here, it's also been updated uh, at 350. It says the Windows Insider team has confirmed this is actually a bug. That is being investigated. The requirements has not changed. We're looking into the scenario the team said on Twitter, which I just showed you just now. I'll leave all this information in the video description. You can read it in more detail. And of course, this is trending on many, many different types of uh, technology sites here. As you can see here, there is loads of information, which I will link down below and you can read it. Now, what I'm going to suggest you do is don't upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware because it will still be unsupported. Microsoft have not reversed their decision and you will uh, be using uh, Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And if they do close that window to update uh, security updates via that method, you will need to go back and install Windows 10 on that system. So roll back to Windows 10 if you have upgraded. And if you haven't upgraded yet to Windows 11, then don't bother because it is a bug and they will patch it and will fix it. And you're going to end up with that message saying you're using unsupported hardware for this version of Windows. 
it just goes to show the incompetence of Microsoft. Now, as you can see here, what is going on with Microsoft? How can you release a update without checking it first to see whether everything is working okay? We've now sent out an update to loads of people uh, that are on unsupported hardware that are now basically being offered Windows 11. What do you expect these people to do? Of course, they're going to roll out an update. If all of a sudden they see an update, they're available for them in their Windows operating system of Windows 10. You can see here, this means that unsupported devices may not be offered security updates uh, like that of Patch Tuesday next week. But you still have 10 days to roll back your unsupported system. If you don't roll back within the period, you'll be forced to clean install Windows 10, thus starting out from scratch. Thanks very much, Microsoft, for your consideration, because they don't really care what's going to happen now is a load of people that have updated to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, and now they've put the burden onto them to actually either roll back within 10 days or have to do a fresh install. Thanks. So there you have it, kids. If you've rolled out an update to Windows 11, then and you're on unsupported hardware, you're going to have to roll back because they haven't changed their stance on it. And basically, that just means that you're just going to have to go through the headache of rolling it back. And hopefully, nothing goes wrong. Make sure you back up your data before rolling back. If you don't know how to roll back, I'll quickly show you here the place where you need to go. So basically, what you need to do is go to the Start button and then go to Settings. Your menu may look different, but you need to go to Settings. Inside here, you want to go down on the System tab, look for Recovery, and click on Recovery. Once you're in Recovery, you will see the Rollback feature just there. And what you need to do is click on this, and it will roll back your system back to your previous operating system. If you don't do this, after 10 days, this option will disappear and you will need to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Otherwise, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to end up with uh, an operating system that you're not supported on. So it's entirely up to you what you do. But anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. I just wanted to bring this uh, video to you because a lot of people may still click on that uh, Windows 11 update and end up messing up their system. So it's not been officially changed by Microsoft. You will need to uh, roll back to Windows 10 because you're running on unsupported hardware. Anyway, just a quick news update here for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.